Schools in California have made a lot of progress since the passage of Prop 30 back in 2012. What Proposition 30 did, what nobody thought we could do, and that was increase taxes on the wealthiest of Californians. And that extra income plugged a hole that had been in school funding since uh, the great, during the Great Recession since 2008. When that happened, it allowed schools to start to recover. Teachers beginning to be hired back. You saw programs like music and the arts and uh, EE and, and all kinds of things begin to return and new programs, career and technical education programs, new pathway programs returning, class sizes came down, uh, instructional days were restored. Unfortunately, the taxes are set to, re, uh, to expire and Proposition 55 will continue those taxes. Proposition 55 is a proposition that simply asks the wealthy to pay their fair share. Those who make $250,000 a year or more to pay just a little bit more in taxes so that our public schools uh, continue to recover from the recession. And again, it doesn't raise taxes. It merely continue, continues the current tax rate for those individuals. Prop 55 is another attempt by educators and communities across California to reinforce the idea that our students matter. It says that a tax on the wealthiest Californians should not expire and they should continue to pay their fair share for the future of California. If Proposition 55 doesn't pass, we will see an immediate $4 billion hole in our uh, public school budget. And and then more billions going down the road of the, the 12 years that the taxes would be in effect. The results will be very devastating. Focus on the arts, music, after school programs, all the steps that we've taken in the right direction in public education would immediately stop. We've bailed out billionaires, we've bailed out these companies, and now it's time to say that our kids deserve to be bailed out the same way. We can't go back to the days before that when we were facing layoffs and tax cuts and students were facing less instructional days. We just can't go back to that. We need to save uh, public education and therefore we need to support Proposition 55.